Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Look what I found. Mm, yes, Peach Bellini, baby. Um, yeah, this candle like. I go I want good. I go I want good. I go I want good. Hey, hello. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time seeing my face, <laughs> welcome. For any of my previous subscribers, no. My channel is not about to turn into a Bath and Body Works channel. Um, but if you've been following me for a very long time, you already know I am a candle lover. I'm a candle collector in a sense and I have been for very very many years. Um, I'm always buying candles and I notice that when I share my hauls, the things that I get, um, a lot of people tend to enjoy them. So if you're like me and love candles to the point where you sit down, grab something to drink or a snack, turn on YouTube and actually enjoy watching videos of other candle lovers who share their hauls, what they got, the money they saved, what they think about the scents. This video is for you. Real quick, this camera angle throws me off every single time. So I feel like I have to make you aware that I'm wearing clothes, okay? I'm wearing clothes. Fun fact, it's hot as in here. So, so the shoulders are out, girl. Anywho, to be completely honest, I don't really go ham, buy candles, even go to Bath and Body Works like all throughout the year. You will catch me really, really stocking up and hauling on candles and sometimes other items, mostly candles though, mostly candles, um, but during candle day, which is the first Saturday of every December, and also SAS, which is the semi-annual sale, happens two times a year, once at the end of the year and once in the summertime, like June-ish or whatever, lasts for a couple of weeks, but that's when you get the best deals. I know I love a deal and it is the perfect time to stock up. So, out of everything that you're about to see, I probably spent about $15 of my own money because I knew coming towards the end of the year that the semi-annual sale was gonna take place. So I used a gift card from work that basically covered the majority of everything that you're about to see in this haul. I have my vices, I have my slight addictions but um we like to save over here so i just want to put that in there because look candles are amazing they give me life i love the vibe i love the scents i love everything about the entire experience um but i do not suggest going broke trying to keep up with youtube and these hauls and buying this and buying that so but I got some really good finds. I also went slightly outside of some of the things I normally buy. And I also got some nice home decor items. So this isn't just a candle haul. This isn't just a body care haul. This also includes home decor from Bath and Body Works that could be used all year round. So let's get into it. So I'm gonna get the body care out of the way first because typically I don't really go to Bath and Body Works for body care. There are some things that I'll get like lotions here and there but i'm absolutely not a body care hoarder there is one scent however that i just absolutely think is delicious and i absolutely love and that would be christmas cookies y'all this is the lotion super cute simple yeah really 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 cute packaging get sweet on the holidays with ooey gooey sugar cookie goodness. Fragrance notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, caramel wood. And y'all, when I tell you, this smells so much just like a shortbread, buttery, sweet, yummy, delicious cookie. It's got shea butter, coconut oil, and vitamin E. Some people think it's crazy to want to actually smell like something that you want to eat. And for body care, it's not something that I always run to. I'm more of a, I love gourmand candles. I love candles that have bakery scents and things that smell delicious to me. That's my go-to for candles. Um, body care, it's not really necessarily a go-to, but if you smell this, it smells scrumptious. I mean, it smells <laughs> so good. So. I got two of the hand lotions. These were 75% off. Um, so they were about $3.25, I think. I used a 20% off coupon on everything that I bought. So it was an extra 20% off of 
that 75% price. The Land of Sweets wasn't going off the shelves too fast at the beginning of SAS, so I wasn't really looking too much into these ones here, but I saw that they started to go really, really fast over the past couple of days. So I also picked up the body cream, which the formula is just a lot more smooth, same notes scent wise, but it's definitely more of a, a body cream, a more luxurious blend. And call me crazy, but I feel like it's a little bit stronger in the body cream as well. And I got two of those. These were 75% off, 20% off. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where receipt is, but it was about three and some change. Um, it came under $3, I think, with the 20% off on top of that. Now this is different for me because I honestly stopped purchasing fragrant body washes or body soaps um, years ago. You know, when it comes to all of the ingredients and the fragrance in body gels, this is probably for some a little TMI, but for me personally, let's just say I'm not a fan of too many ingredients down there. However, this smells so delicious that um, what I'm gonna do is just basically use it as like a body wash. Arms, legs, hit the parts that, oh my God. I, I wanna smell like a cookie. I want to smell like cookies. I use it for my body, not for my parts. <laughs> but look how cute that is. I love the packaging. But this smells so delicious and also the fragrance notes are the exact same. 75% off, I got two of each. That's all that I need, it's just me. And the last body care item that I have is the Christmas Cocoa Mint. This is the body cream and the fragrance notes are Decadent Milk Chocolate Thin Mint Cookies Marshmallow Fluff. Oh my God. Mint chocolate. Oh my god, yo. <laughs> these scents right here, these freaking scents, they're so rich, they're so decadent, they're so specific, and they're just so yummy. I wish I probably would have got at least one more of these. I really do. So, I don't know if this is something that they'll still have more of, but this really, really smells like Andy's Mints. That rich chocolate, that mint undertone, it's not overpowering. Like, it's really, really dead on mint chocolate so good so that's the body care next i want to show you guys some smaller tester candles that i got i never purchased tester candles before and for me it's kind of more of an experiment because i'm used to burning candles and it filling a large space right now i am renting a room so i really just have one room to feel when it comes to fragrance i was burning strawberry pound cake the three wick and it was so strong and when my roommate came in she was like that was your candle we were smelling that in the room we was like what is that sweet smell and i'm like oh my god and it's nothing wrong with a candle being strong but it's not necessarily necessary for me to be wasting my three wick candles um when i just have to feel one room if that makes sense so i say that to say that i got a couple of tester candles and they are in scents that I've never actually burned before, but they are scents that I've smelled over time, but I've never actually owned or burned. So this will allow me to get an idea of if it's something that I wanna pick up later, if it's a candle scent that I would actually enjoy. And because I just have one room to fill, um, they are the right size to give me a good idea of like the throw, the scent, and a less expensive way for me to just not have to commit to a candle fragrance so they retail ten dollars these testers were 75 percent off so i got them for two dollars and fifty cents and i got 20 percent off of that so they were about about two dollars a piece so the first one is hot fudge sunday which a lot of y'all are already familiar with i've smelled this a couple different times from different trips to the store just never purchased it and the scent notes are gooey fudge chocolate fondant vanilla bean ice cream and whipped cream and and honestly i really just get chocolate i get like chocolate easter bunny candy like straight chocolate a little bit of vanilla but that chocolate is in the forefront just milk chocolate it does have kind of like a fudgy a fudgy scent to it but it smells good I'm interested to know how this is gonna burn and they're all one wicks. 
but this to me is just kind of like, you know, like the chocolate fudge syrup that hardens around ice cream. I get those vibes. The second one that I got is berry waffle cone and the scent notes are sweet berries, waffle cone, creamy vanilla. There is a very, very obvious bread note to this candle, which I absolutely love. I smell berry and I smell a hint of sweet. They make it less bread, but more of that waffle cone. It's just like a fresh cooked waffle cone. That berry note is right in the middle. I'm interested to know how this burns. I really, really like this. This paper literally just comes off, so that's berry waffle cone. So the third one is Sugared Snickerdoodle, which I did purchase this this year from the Land of Sweets collection, but I won't be burning that until next year on Code Sniff. It smells delicious though. Um, so I'm glad I found this because this is going to allow me to enjoy it and really see how it performs while it's burning. For me, it's next to Mary Cookie. Mary Cookie is a classic. Every year I buy Mary Cookie, I burn Mary Cookie, I love Mary Cookie. There's just something about certain scents that grasp that shortbread, fresh baked, sweet, not too sweet, um, vanilla undertones, like an actual bakery cookie scent that I really, really, really love. And Sugar Snickerdoodle is a good second to me, to Mary Cookie. This one smells a little bit muted down um, compared to the Land of the Sweets one that I have. So I'm not sure if it's, you know, because it might be a tester, a different pour. But still, I'm excited to see how this one's going to perform. The notes are warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. I don't know how musk is sugared. Um, I don't get at all a musk to this. I definitely get the sweet, creamy vanilla. There's a tiny 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 spice to it um, I'm not a fan of spice but because it's so muted down I think that's why I still love this candle the fourth one is one that over the fall I picked up and smelled like a million times and I don't know why I didn't get it because every time I picked it up I was just like oh, oh, I don't know I just didn't grab it and now that it's not available in store or online I wish that I did but because I saw this I was excited it's gonna allow me to enjoy it it is the pumpkin peanut brittle now pumpkin pecan waffles is an all-time favorite for a couple of different reasons it's very specific and smells just like it says um, it's very strong and it's very just pow you love it or you hate it this does not in any way smell like pumpkin pecan waffle but it's very specific to what it says it smells like pumpkin peanut brittle you really get that toasted peanut I get kind of a caramelly sticky sweetness oh my god this smells so good and the scent notes are caramel brittle see I didn't read the scent notes because it's really really almost got like a salted <laughs> let me read you the scent notes because like I said it's a perfect example of pumpkin pecan waffles because it's very specific to what it says okay and the scent notes are caramel brittle salty peanuts and pumpkin seeds and like I was saying I'm getting salted caramel vibes that roasted peanut um, Pumpkin seeds, I can't even tell you if I know what pumpkin seeds smell like, but it really smells like peanut brittle with a hint of vanilla-ish pumpkin, but very strong on the caramel and very delicious. And that is pumpkin peanut brittle. If that comes back and I see it, I'm grabbing them up. The next one is blueberry pie. I am not a blueberry lover. This year I purchased my very first blueberry candle that was in the Land of Sweets collection. That entire collection purchase was intentional. I had plans for that collection. I just needed to have every single one in it. And the blueberry scent in it, it's nice. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's blueberry. I'm just not a blueberry person. Like I said, I like bakery scents. I like gourmand, delicious type of scents. Um, blueberry pie 
I smelled this in store, but it wasn't on sale for semi-annual and I was not about to pay full price for that candle. But this here, the scent notes are juicy blueberries, flaky crust, sugary crystals. And what I love, love, love about this candle is that that flaky crust is just like dancing. That flaky crust is dancing with the blueberries, y'all. When I say that, it's just really a fresh out of the oven, not burnt edges, but you know, the crust is just brown and it's cooked and the fragrance is going through the fruit. There's not one on top of the other, but it's a perfect blend. I really like this combination. Um, so I do plan on if it goes on sale, getting a couple because it's also in that pretty blue ombre um, packaging but I love blueberry pie I really like this it's strange because I'm not a blueberry person but this one right here it's a bob and the last small candle that I have is the cinnamon caramel swirl they had this um, with the confetti collection and I almost got it but I, I didn't love it you know it was just like eh eh and the notes are caramel, ground cinnamon, brown sugar. You know what I think it is? It's because that cinnamon note is kind of stronger for me than I normally would like. Like I'm not a big cinnamon person. Um, if it's an undertone to another fragrance and it's very, very light, I can do with it depending on the kind of candle, but this one, I'm just not sure, but I don't know. This is one that I have a feeling that when burning, it could turn into something different than on cold sniff. It's very sweet and caramel-like, right? That's why I think the first note is just caramel. Not salted caramel, not this caramel, just caramel. Because you get that sweet, sticky caramel. But that cinnamon, it's creating a something different. It's not bad, but I don't love it, but for $2, we're going to see what it do. And that will allow me to get a better idea of what cinnamon caramel swirl is all about. So those were the small candles. I'm a three wick, big candle connoisseur, okay? Like, I'm not a huge fan of the one wick candles, the smaller candles. Um, but like I said, for my situation, it's kind of perfect. So I'm interested and excited to make some use out of those. Speaking of the three wicks, which are my favorite to burn, I got a few of those. Not many of the 1050 candles were exciting for me, but I did find a few. However, the candles that I actually want to stock up on or really want to try or really want to get are ones that have been retail priced. So I'm going to have to wait for another sale down the line for those. But here are the few that I got. And the only 75% off candles, y'all, that I could find was Pizzeria and that's Rome. I already own two Rome Pizzeria candles. Some people think that candle is absolutely disgusting. Some people think it's very, very interesting and they like it. For me, when I first smelled it, I'm like, what the, what, what? <laughs> but the more that I smelled it, I just thought it was very, very interesting. I personally visited Rome. So for me, it was more of the nostalgia of the candle um but it's definitely not something that i was about to just be stocking up on because it's 75 percent off um so we weren't going to do that <laughs> so my first 1050 candle is peach bellini peach bellini is a classic next to i would say like champagne toast this more this is more of like a sparkling peach hint to it peach bellini is a good like new year scent in my opinion it's a good fresh beginning of the year really all throughout the year kind of scent but i was glad to find it in this um packaging because this is one of the ones that were up priced to 26 dollars 50 but they did have it for 10 dollars 50 and these scent notes are succulent white peach sparkling prosecco sweet orange with essential oils classic white wax but i do really really like the glass with my 20% discount, it was about $8.40 for this candle. Peach Bellini is just an old school classic. Like, it, you can't go wrong with Peach Bellini. Now, this is a candle that, honestly, I slept on because I wasn't a fan of the packaging. So, I never really, like, gave it a chance. 
um, but I was browsing online at the candles and I was looking at the reviews and it kind of intrigued me. So when I saw it in store, there was only one that I saw. Um, when I smelled it, I was like, oh, this is good. And that is maple cinnamon pancakes. And I will say I like this lavender grayish color. Don't get me wrong, the fox is cute, but this, this just isn't my tea when it comes to candle design, you know? Um, it does have this cute top, which I do like that. Maple cinnamon pancakes, the scent notes are warm maple syrup, fluffy buttermilk pancakes, fresh ground cinnamon with essential oils. Now this one here, is a perfect example of I don't love cinnamon scents but it's not overpowering in this you really get that whiff of strong sweet maple and I get that doughy that doughy mix with the maple and a hint of cinnamon but it smells extremely decadent it smells delicious it smells so good i'll be honest when i burn this i'll probably take the sticker off and just keep you know it really simple with that wrap around this was 10 50 20 off got it for 8 40. maple cinnamon pancakes if you haven't smelled this and you love gourmand scents it smells delicious like really really good now something happened and you know, I had a moment, it just felt right. I think it was like my last Bath and Body Works store that I had gone to for candles, right? And like I said, the 1050 candles, I was seeing the exact same candles on the displays, eyes rolling to the back of my head. I'm like, bro, you know, it's just the same candles, right? Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Look what I found with the 1050 candles. <laughs> if you've been following me for some time, maybe you haven't because you're clicking on a Bath and Body Works haul video, okay? I love French baguette so much that last semi-annual sale, I pretty much just stocked up on French baguette. My thumbnail was literally me hugging my French baguette candles with so much joy. <laughs> oh. And they had it in stock since then for a while, but the three weeks in French baguette kind of phased out for the rest of this year. Um, I think you could find it in a one wick sometimes, but three weeks online, in store, very hard to find if at all. Will they bring it back? Probably, I'm not sure. Um, I probably have like two more French baguettes from last year, cause I have been savoring them. Like I really just didn't want to run out. But to find these for 1050, to get them for 840 with 20% off, I just felt like it was for me. This is also one of those scents that you, you love it. Are you like, girl, you want to break candle? Like, what? what? <laughs> well, yes. This smells like fresh bread. This candle is specific to the bread lovers. You know, there's no sweet note to it. There's no dessert note. This is straight up homemade bread out of the oven. Bread, 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 and the scent notes are slow rising dough, crispy crust, a pat of butter, <sighs> fresh baked bread, y'all. Fresh baked bread. Listen, I haven't found anybody out here in the real world for me who has shared my love for French baguette. So, you know, give me a thumbs up if you, like me, enjoy this scent, you know? Um, is there anybody else out there that, that has the same sentiment as me when it comes to French baguette? I mean, whether you do or you don't, I love it either way. So as far as the 1050 goes, I only got four candles. Ooh. 
Um, the next two candles were just exchanges. I did bring back the two unicorn sprinkles that I got on candle day, but I had to have a come to. The unicorn sprinkles, not only did I not like the packaging, it was kind of too teenager-ish, 90-ish for me, um, but I also didn't love the scent, you know what I'm saying? So I love unicorns. Um, so if the packaging was maybe just extremely beautiful and I could have it in my home as decor or display, then I would maybe consider that. Maybe. However, didn't care for the packaging. Didn't hate the scent, but didn't love the scent. Um, they literally just would have been sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Just because I love unicorns. And I don't buy candles to look at them. Like, I buy candles to burn them. I love the experience of the candles that I buy. So I took those back and I exchanged them for two of the candles that I really did want. It's very, very easy to get caught up in the hype, y'all. And so many people were hyped about that candle and it kind of gave me a little bit of hype. And you know, I'm a unicorn lover. So I'm like, gotta get it just because it's unicorn. Once I get into my storage and I like can get into my candles, I'm really gonna take a second look at what I have in my collection what I need to get rid of is just the more I think about the hoarding of candles, like I just need a reason to. So um, if I don't absolutely love the scent or just absolutely am in love with the packaging and like the scent, because I gotta like the scent of a candle for me to buy it. This is a PSA to anybody who feels like they feel themselves getting wrapped up in the hype of candles that you probably personally don't even care for, but you like in some way have been convinced or persuaded that it's something you want. That's what happened with Unicorn Sprinkles. I don't care for the candle, so I took it back. <laughs> I did, however, fall in absolute love with a new scent that I tried during candle day, and that is a strawberry pound cake. Pretty sure it's gonna be a new fave for me. So I took back the Unicorn Sprinkles and I exchanged it for two strawberry pound cakes. And strawberry pound cake is back in this packaging with white barn and it is back in this packaging both are super cute but you have to look at this though because this is strange um yeah this candle like <laughs> I don't know if I mean granted I could just it's fine but what do y'all think y'all think I should return this or just <laughs> return this or burn this. It's no big deal. Because it didn't fall all the way out, I could just literally sit it here. But I just don't want it to cause any like burning problems. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think? Please comment below. It's kind of kind of weird. Yeah. Next, I got some $3 hand soaps. So with the 20% off, these hand soaps were $2.40 each. The first pair I got was the White Barn Kitchen Lemon. And they have a lot of packaging for Kitchen Lemon. Um, I love this one the most. I didn't see it online and there were only a few in store, but I love that gold trim around the cap. I love that little marbleized design. Um, I just think it's a very, very neutral, very, very clean, um, pretty, 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 pretty packaging. Um, yeah, this candle like, <laughs> and the notes are zesty lemon, sparkling citrus, and Italian bergamot. It's, it's a very, very fresh lemon scent, but you get more of a, a lemon peel vibe to it. It's not like a pine saw, you know, but it's a good kitchen lemon, like a good clean, just a fresh lemon. And that is kitchen lemon. This next one is, like I said, a classic. Most of the hand soaps that I ever really get are white barn because I really like the elegance and the very small but very simple touches to theirs as opposed to the Bath & Body Works. Um, this also has that gold trim and this is Peach Bellini. It's got the textured bottom. Mmm, it's Peach Bellini, baby. It smells just like the candle. Of course, a bit stronger, but it's just a really good peachy, fresh, sparkling scent. $2.40. And the last two that I got, the first thing that pulled me is the aesthetic of these. I love a mauve, light tone pink 
pops of gold. This is rose, water, and ivy. These are so beautiful. I love the color. And the scent notes are soft rose petals, rain-kissed ivy, and spring musk. Now, let me tell you, I'm not a fan of floral scents. Ironically, my name is Glamorous Wallflower, right? Um, and I absolutely love florals visually. Um, I love floral decor. I think it's beautiful. I love the meaning behind growth, flowers. Um, flowers, flowers. I, I love flowers. And my candles, and my hand soaps, and my body care, and really anything. I'm not a smell of roses kind of person. Like, for example, flower shop. I smell that and I'm like, mm, no. I'm just not a floral scent lover. However, this rose water and ivy, it's not pow on the flowers. This, I think rose water is a muted down rose. I could be wrong, um, but this is more of a perfumey musk with a very light floral scent to it. And it's very, very pretty. Very pretty, very clean. So I actually like the rose water and ivy. And it only helps that the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. That pink is, ugh, beautiful. And those are all the hand soaps that I bought. And last, but absolutely not least, are my candle holders. Now, I got Byers and Morse on one of these designs because it is so much glitter. I'm not being dramatic, I'm not being extra. I literally don't even wanna pick this up because glitter goes everywhere. And it's just like, it's beautiful, but is it really worth having a deal with all that glitter? And that is this candle ring here. It's so much glitter, y'all, but I think it's very pretty. And the reason why I grabbed it, I grabbed three of them. And the reason why I did is because these were 75% off. So these were originally $15.50. It was about $3, three something. And I got 20% off on top of that. I got three of them. But again, the glitter doesn't end, y'all. The glitter don't end, and I'm still kind of feeling buyer's remorse, so I don't know. We'll just put it to the side for now. Speaking of glitter, this is actually a candle holder that ever since I saw it, I wanted to get it, but I wasn't gonna pay retail price for. And this is one of the Land of Sweets. candle holders this one also has the glitter but it's just not excessive to where it's just like falling every time you touch it I'm absolutely in love with the drip of this ever since I saw it I'm like yeah I definitely need that for next year's Christmas I almost bought this online for like 11 bucks the moment I put it into my cart it went out of stock so it wasn't 75% off in store it was 50% off I got it for eight dollars and 25 cents 20 percent off that i grabbed two of them i had to make an exception for my candle holders because i really really love them and the last find one of my favorite things that i was able to find is this marble candle holder the tall one this was also 50 percent off so the retail 19.50 I got it for ten dollars, twenty percent off, eight bucks. So I got this for eight bucks. Yeah, out of all the Bath and Body Works that I went to, none of them had these in store. The tall ones are not online anymore and haven't been for some time. So I had to bite the bullet and get it for fifty percent off. Um, and I was lucky enough to find two of them. And these are gorgeous. Like this is not holiday themed. This is just beautiful marble like you know bath and body works candle holders and the 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 quality 
the heaviness it's gorgeous beautiful had to grab these um look at that all that glitter y'all y'all have no clue ignore the glitter it's all over me now what you gonna do so that is my 2019 semi-annual sale haul y'all it wasn't a whole lot but the things that i got spoke to me the things that i got are exactly what i wanted exactly what i'm going to use i've been watching a lot of hauls and there's a lot of things in different areas that i haven't seen in my stores so look thumbs up to all y'all that are finding all these different scents and 75 percent off candles i mean before semi-annual sale ends I might pop into a store just to see if they have any of the 75% off candles that aren't Rome Pizzeria, okay? And if that's the case, I might grab a couple of those. That's about it. I don't often go into Bath & Body Works and spend a lot of money, but it is these events that I use to stock up on the things that I love throughout the year. If you made it this far into the video, drop me some flame emojis, okay? It just lets me know that we lit. I'm lighting candles, you lighting candles. We loving candles. <laughs> we loving saving money um, and just the the fun of it all. So hopefully you enjoyed my video with my probably being all over the place. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys what I got and my thoughts on everything that I got. But yeah, I've talked enough. I hope you guys are enjoying the semi-annual sell. I hope that you're enjoying the beginning of this new year. There's so much so much to be done if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe i post all kind of things pretty random sometimes um but it's always with good intention <laughs> till next time i'll see you on my next video bye